People don't buy products. People buy emotions. Easier said than done. How to sell emotions? Make ideas sticky. How to make ideas sticky? Today, we've got a special guest who's like a pro at making ideas sticky. Stick around to get the answer and learn how to make your ideas sticky. Please give a warm welcome to our guest, one of America's leading behavioral management and business marketing specialists and the author of the multi-award winning book, Brain Glue, James I. Bond. Hi, James. Thank you for sticking around the Contributors Podcast. Absolutely. And I want to say that, you know, people are telling me that my book is the most powerful persuasion book ever written. Uh, Jack Canfield, who wrote Chicken Soup for the Soul, he sold 500 million books. So he doesn't need me telling him anything. And it blew him away. He's forced everybody in his company to read it and apply it because it's blown his mind about the whole concept of making your ideas sticky. Making ideas sticky sounds interesting. Can you tell us what does it mean and how someone can do it in business? There are certain things, there are certain patterns that when our brain hears the pattern, it sticks to the brain like glue. Jack and Jill went up the hill, right? How many people know that? I, you know, the last time I heard that was, it was a children's nursery rhyme. I heard it when I was, you know, maybe 10, 20, maybe 50 years ago for me, over 50 years ago. And yet I remember it like it was yesterday. When you understand the patterns, it also, it, there are two things that happen. One is it becomes memorable where people remember it. But the second thing is that it actually triggers the emotion centers of the brain where decision-making happens. And it makes it much easier to get people to say yes to your ideas and to buy your products. I'm going to give you examples that is going to, I think it's going to blow everybody's mind. It isn't just products. It's also persuasion. You know, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Got OJ Simpson off from an almost certain guilty verdict in a murder trial. That's using the power of brain glue. Okay. The whiter your bread, the quicker you're dead. Okay. And they went from dominating the bread industry in 10 years to almost collapsing and going out of business. And they dominated the bread industry. But the powerful phrase, the whiter your bread, the quicker you're dead, you know, took them out of business. I love, I work with uh, Warren Buffett's team, okay? And Warren Buffett has lots of phrases that are brain glue phrases, okay? And so one of them, I love this, is he says, only when the tide goes out, do you realize who's been swimming naked, okay? I love that phrase. Well, what's he saying? He's saying, only when times get tough, do you realize who's really competent? But if he said that, people go, yeah, that makes sense. But by saying, only when the tide goes out, do you realize who's been swimming naked? It's like, what? And then it, it, it triggers different parts of the brain and it sticks to the brain like glue. So Winners never quit and quitters never win. It's a flip. See, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Okay. All for one and one for all. Okay. A good girls go to heaven. Bad girls go everywhere. Okay. It's better to be looked over than overlooked as a woman. Okay. And this is where we would like to teach our viewers how to do it. But before we learn how we can use the brain glue to make our ideas sticky, <laughs> please dear viewers, like this video so YouTube algorithm will show it to more people. So James, can you show us because brain glue really sounds like magic. So how can regular people use it in their life and business? So the first thing you do is you make a list of the different uh, logical ways that you would describe what the product is, okay, or idea. Let me give you an example of a really great one that John Gray, and John Gray uh, wrote a incredible book called Men, Women, and Relationships. And he was telling me how he was frustrated because he sold only 20,000 copies. He said, this is a book that when people read it, it blows their mind. It's one of the best relationship books ever, but he only sold 20,000 copies you can you know if you make a dollar a book or however much you make you know you're still you're dead in the water you better work at mcdonald's or something okay but what he did was he came up with this crazy idea what if i changed the title to men are from mars women are from venus and then tweak the content a little so it was consistent with the title so you refer to it through the book but it's the same basic book what do you think happened almost overnight half a million books got sold then a million then two million i know steve harrison who helped him with marketing uh, in my book i say he sold 10 million copies and steve says no you're wrong and i'm like what i, I did research. He said, no, no, no. He's over 50 million books sold already. He went from 20,000 to 50 million, all because he changed the title. I thought my brain was going to explode. So I wrote men are from Mars on a three by five card. And I suddenly realized this is a metaphor. Men aren't really from a different planet. I mean, some people think we are, but we're not. Okay. But it's a metaphor. That's the first thing you want to do that to get it out of your system. Then you want to look for similes or metaphors. It's just like what, and by the way, be crazy. The crazier you could be, the better. Okay. I'll give you an example of a crazy one. <laughs> 
So Paul Tran invented an electric razor for men's private areas. Okay, I don't want to get too much into this, okay? But electric razor for men's private areas. So what's a good metaphor for that? How about the lawnmower? Okay, he actually named the product the lawnmower and sales took off so much, he changed the name of his company. So it's called Manscaped. Okay, so he's landscaping a man with a lawnmower. So let's pretend I bought one. I didn't buy one, okay? But let's pretend I bought one. If I bought one, I wouldn't share it with my friends. Okay, let's start there. But I would say, hey, guess what I just bought? What? I bought the lawnmower. What, you have to mow your lawn? No, no, no. It's an electric razor for men's private areas. They would start laughing like crazy. And then they would start telling their friends or a girlfriend or a wife, hey, guess what James just bought? The lawnmower. What? Yeah, well, it's a, okay. It spreads like wildfire. So the first thing you want to do after you do the logic is come up with an analogy or a metaphor. And the crazier, the better. It's just like dot, 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 finish the sentence. But be crazy, okay? Because start with crazy. It's the best way to do brainstorming. And then you can water it down. But the second thing you want to do is use alliteration if you can, okay? Also find other words for it. Like squatty potty, it was toilet stool. So toilet, what's another word for toilet is, is potty, okay? And so she came up with squatty potty because it's rhyme. Squatty potty, it's a rhyme sticks to the brain, okay? Like Jack and Joe went up the, okay? We remember it. Give us a rhyme and we remember it. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. Rhyme rhyme sticks to the brain, okay? So squatty potty. So the second thing you want to do after you come up with similar words, it's just like this. Come up with words that are similar that relate the product in a totally different ways. And you can use chat GPT or AI, you know, artificial intelligence, you can come up with some crazy ones. They're big ass fans. Carrie Smith started a company, a manufacturing company, he started making good money. So he ended up buying a friend's company who had huge fans. And the fans were used in uh, farms and barns, you know, in a barn, you're not going to have for your horses or your cows, you're not going to have air conditioning, you're gonna put a big fan up there. And so this guy, so he started with this company called with it, which had big fans. The friend was called Joe's fans or something like that. But one day he was running an ad and he said, you know what? I, people don't understand this. These are big ass fans. So he ran an ad for big ass fans and sales exploded. I mean, exploded. And he went like, wait a second, maybe I should change the name of the company to big ass fans. So he did. He actually has a funny logo. He has a donkey with his butt facing you and then his head off in the distance turned to look at you. And it says big ass fans. Okay. Got to ask the donkey's ass. And what can I say? Anyway, let me tell you something that I bet you never knew. Okay. So Norma Jean and her man manager said, you should come up with the name Marilyn because Marilyn is a better name for a, a model. She said, okay, fine. And her stepfather, I'm pretty sure it was her stepfather, was named Monroe. So she went Marilyn Monroe, which uses alliteration, by the way, ma, ma, Marilyn Monroe. Okay. That's first. Then she loved Jean Harlow, famous actress in the early days of the movies. And Jean Harlow had platinum blonde hair. So Marilyn went to the same hairdresser as Jean Harlow and got her hair colored the same color. Okay. But then she has a beauty mark on her cheek, so she would cover it up with makeup. But one day she's looking at uh, photographs of Jean Harlow and she sees, wait a second, Jean Harlow in some photographs has a beauty mark on her cheek and in some photographs it's on her chin. I bet she doesn't even have a beauty mark. I bet she just puts a dot on her face to bring attention to herself. And so Marilyn, instead of hiding her beauty mark, she started darkening her beauty mark. David Ogilvie was doing an ads for Hathaway shirts, okay? And by the way, Hathaway was bought by Warren Buffett. That's why his company is Berkshire Hathaway, okay? And Hathaway just took off like gangbusters because of what David Ogilvie did. So what did he do? So if you see an ad for, if you're doing ads for shirts that are going to be full page uh, ads in magazines, what do you have? You have a good looking guy with one of the shirts on, nice pair of pants and shoes, hopefully shoes, and a nice location maybe, okay? For shirt ad, shirt ad, shirt ad, they all look the same. So what did he do? He put an eye patch on the guy. You know, the guy's not a pirate, but he put an eye patch on the guy. And the headline, he said, the man in the Hathaway shirt. People saw that, you know, you're flipping through a magazine and you stop and go, hey, the guy's got an eye patch. What's that all about? Then you read the headline, the man in the Hathaway shirt. It never explains why the guy has an eye patch, by the way, but it resonated. It stuck to the brain. It was subtle and yet profound. They were beautiful. You know, they had good shirts, but they ads needed to bring attention. So how do you bring attention? So, you know, you don't want to make the guy dress as a comic or, or a clown or something like that. I mean, that grabs attention, but it doesn't sell the product. But by putting the eye patch on the guy and, and then different ads, so I had a different guys that all had the same eye patch, you know, it grabbed attention. It's a Hathaway shirt. So the name sticks to me. And that's what you want is you want your ads or your ideas or your product products to stand out from the crowd because you're competing, especially in this day and age with so many. But it's not easy anyway. So I think that for our viewers will be much easier if they can download your book. And I think some of them will be really happy to connect with you. So if our listeners and viewers, if they want to know more about Brain Glue, how can they learn from uh, you and get more info? How they contact you? Well, if you go to yesbrainglue.com, 
That'll take you to a page that has all kinds of information on Brain Gold. Hopefully you get the book because I think you'll, you guys will really love the book. People are sharing this because it's blowing their minds. And it's an easy read. That's one of the things that's very good. This is a fast, easy read. That people love it because of that. But, yeah, if you go to yesbrainglue.com, it'll take you to a page and you can see what people are saying. And you can learn about certain, certain elements of Brain Glue. I mean, it's it's just changing people's lives. I have this guy who's telling me, hey, I, I'm i going on dates now because I'm using stuff from Brain Glue. I said, it wasn't really meant for that. He said, no, but it works. It works. You know, I'm telling jokes and I'm telling stuff and it's like, wow. Well, it's life change and experience. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, James, for gluing this interview and making our viewers to stick until the end. That was really amazing. Thank you, James. Oh, Victor, thank you so much. This was lots of fun. Folks, if you want to buy James' book, Brain Glue, How to Sell Easier by by making your ideas sticky link is in the description below if this video was helpful give it thumb up to help youtube algorithm to show it to more people and if you want to watch more insightful videos on business crypto and passive income subscribe and hit the bell to get notified about new videos otherwise youtube won't let you know thanks for watching stay healthy stay wealthy stay tuned